Hello everybody, my name is Yasuji Sir. Today we will be learning about routing uh, within our Flask application. First of all, we will be exploring how routing works. Oftentimes people don't know how it works, which leads them to be a bit more confused. So let's suppose if we have our web application running on a server. Now every HTML page that we would that we are to write has a certain address or location. For example, the login page will be located on our login address. Our signup page will be located on the signup address. There are some pages that will have redirects to another page. For example, let's suppose if I'm signing up and let's suppose if I'm logging in. Both of these pages can direct to our home page. Therefore, our home page has a simple slash home address. However, let's suppose if I'm logging in and then posting a picture. Only people who have logged in can post their pictures, not someone who has signed up. Therefore, the post a picture will have a slash login slash post a picture. Similarly, let's suppose when you sign up, you read your terms of service. Now, a person who has logged in, he can't or they can't read their terms of service. Therefore, the terms of service has the address of slash sign up slash terms. And that would lead to an HTML file called terms of service.html or something among the means of that. Now, let's get into the code. So first of all, what we're going to want to do is uh, open up our uh, Visual Studio Code uh, editor or any editor for that case and first we're going to make our app.py then what we're going to do is we're going to make a file a folder called templates this is where our html files will be located currently we're just going to make a login and a sign up uh, html and then we're just going to route the two together so there's going to be login.html and then there's going to be a uh, sign up.html now, the idea is that I'm going to make routes that will go to the signup and the login. So let's just first uh, write some HTML code so that so that we uh, so that when the site is running, we can actually identify the two. All right, this is a signup page, and we can just take that and put it into our login. So this is a login page. Now let's start the actual code that will be the backbone of our that will be the backbone of our uh, website. So first we're just going to import from Flask. So from Flask, import the Flask library altogether and the rendering templates. This is because we need to render our HTML before serving it from the server to the client. So. First, let's just initialize our app. So app is equal to the flask name. Next, what we're going to do is app.run, where debug is equal to true. I like to use debug is equal to true because whenever I make mistakes or if I want to see how my server is running, I can do that. So now we're going to work on making our routes. So we're going to make two routes at app.route. And this is going to be our initial, uh, our initial website, our, our initial uh, HTML file. Uh, you can think of this as the initial HTML file that you would want to load first. For example, let's suppose if I was on, uh, I don't know, let's just go on Google, uh, new window. Let's just go to google.com. Yeah, so see over here how there's no uh, HTML, or there, yeah, so let's suppose if I go slash maps, it'll go to the maps.html. Now over here, there are no slashes, so that means that the initial page will be the uh, this HTML page. That's the same thing we want to do over here. So at app.route, and then we're going to make a function that's connected to this. So let's call this def login. I will login. And all we're going to do is return render template. 
and it's called login.html. Now we can do the exact same thing for sign up. Uh, so at app.route sign up def sign up. I will just return render template sign up dot dot html. Now let's try and run this. So there's no errors at all, and there's a pro. And we now let's view this in localhost. So as you can see, by default, it loads the login.html page, and now we can also view the signup.html just by making a slash and typing in sign up, and boom, now we're on sign up. All right, now obviously you wouldn't want your users to just type in the uh, the queries or the uh, the, the stuff in the uh, search bar. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to make uh, hyperlinks. So to make a hyperlink is very straightforward. So we'll just make a, a tag. And what we're going to have to do is we're going to have our h, our reference, or the link to our, to our tag is going to just be a slash. Or it's going to be slash sign up. And uh, we're just going to write uh, sign up here, if not a uh, user. And we can put in a slash A. All right. And now let's just do the exact same thing over here. So we're going to write, so instead of doing slash sign up, it's just going to be a simple slash. Uh, always remember to follow whatever is on your uh, whatever is the route you initialized, and yeah, uh, whatever it's the route that you initialized. So let's just yeah. So now we're gonna write over here. Log in here if a user. If you are a user. So let's just rerun this. All right, now it's running. So let's just do that. So as you can see, there's now a proper link. So I can click sign up here or log in here. And that's how you do routing in a nutshell. Uh, of course, mo the more complex of an app you make, the more uh, the more complex routing gets. Oftentimes, uh, oftentimes your website might even crash if you haven't written your routes properly. Uh, especially if you have stuff like cookies or user authentication, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But this is meant to get the foot in, to get your foot in the door as to how to make proper routes uh, using the Flask Python framework. All right, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.